The radio show, Valerie joins us from the Artesia Public Library. Good morning. Good morning, Jean. What What was that last night? That noise in. Um, you know, it was it was a little scary, but um, I did get up to see what it was, and um, I watched it for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody told me that was rain. I think it was. It smelled <laughs> like mud, but I think it was rain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I got the rainfall total on the report this morning, and um, five one-hundredths of an inch. And oh. our total for the year, five one-hundredths of an inch. <laughs> oh, my word. That was our first measurable official rain this year. Well, it sure doesn't seem like much, but it... it did seem to come down for a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're glad to have it. Maybe we'll get a little bit more this afternoon, and and that'll be nice. And for those folks that have lawns, that's great for the grass. And for those that don't, it's great for the weeds. Great for the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> weeds don't take much folks, moisture to go, you know. Or the folks like me who have rocks. <laughs> well, rocks are fine, too. Then you don't have to worry about hopefully the weeds or the grass so well it can wash off the rock <laughs> that's right that's right well we're into june and uh are folks signing up for the summer reading program yes yeah, so um <clears throat> i guess we're about well we're almost f four days in to um sign up and um had a lot of sign up so we're really happy about that um of course we always have room for more um, so we're pretty excited about the number of people that have come in so far this week. Um, you can certainly um, come in next week and sign up as well. Um, or today. Today is always good. <laughs> <laughs> or tomorrow. <laughs> or tomorrow. Yep. That's great. Yeah, and so you... we're getting um, geared up for our first full week on Monday. Um, we'll have a movie Monday. It's going to be the animated movie Luca. And we will be popping some popcorn. You have popcorn. Yeah. I heard there's like a popcorn shortage in the country right now. Really? Yeah. I haven't heard that. Well, um, I guess we got our popcorn order in in time. Good, <laughs> good. I'm glad you were able to get that done. Yeah, so hopefully we'll have enough for the summer. <laughs> <laughs> So Luca is the movie for Monday. That's at 1 o'clock? It is at 1 p.m., yes. You can bring a pillow, a blanket, and you can just um, crash and enjoy. <laughs> okay, good deal. And uh, and you've picked all the movies for the rest of the, of the summer program, I'm sure. Yeah, we do have them picked out. Um, they are, um, I think they're all animated. Um, there may be one under under the ocean under the sea mm -hmm. type thing um yeah excellent excellent i was just uh i was gonna look up luca 2021 is when that movie came out right i haven't seen it yet but i'm excited to see it <laughs> on the italian riviera an unlikely but strong friendship grows between a human being and a sea monster disguised as a human so that's the uh, yeah, plot line of so the movie. Should be should be cute. I remember when it was out mm -hmm. not that long ago. So. Yeah. So there you go. Looks uh, looks good. I'm sure the kids will really enjoy that. Yes. Yes. Um, so Tuesday mornings we will have a story time. Um, the first story time, the uh, books that will be read are um, fish. And the Artesia Streets Department will be joining us and reading some books to the kids. And then we will have a fish craft. Okay. Um, Wednesdays at 10 in the morning, we're going to have a STEAM lab. That's science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And our first STEAM lab on next Tuesday will be a Sink or float experiment. Now, you said Tuesday. Is that on Wednesday? Oh, Wednesday. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, the story time is on Tuesday at 10, and the STEAM lab is Wednesday at 10. And it's a sink or float sink experiment. Sink or float experiment. Okay. Bricks will uh, sink, uh, usually. 
What's that? Bricks will sink usually. Usually, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that'll be on Wednesday, okay? Uh, yep. Um, Thursday, we're going to have a family scavenger hunt, so you can come in any time during the day, and um, I believe it's going to be pirate-themed. Okay. So it, you'll get to find some pirate items, and you'll um, get to um, scavenger hunt the library and check some things out in the library that maybe you haven't seen in a while. Good, good. And let me see... Friday, uh, 10 o'clock, we will have a Lego lab, and we will have some Lego challenges. Ah. You know, I was uh, watching, there's a guy that I watch on the YouTubes that uh, does a lot of stuff on, on um, ocean liners that have sunk over the last couple of hundred years. And another aspect of what he does, and this is just how... You can just find anything you want on YouTube, seems like. He gets the Lego kits of the of the ships. And one of the ones I watched, he was in Philadelphia in the parking lot of the Ikea across the street from where the USS America, no, the USS United States is docked. And he built the Lego kit of the USS United States <laughs> with the real ship behind him. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe they'll, uh, in the Lego lab, they'll advance to the part to where they're making ships and other uh, pretty advanced uh, Lego creations. Yes. Well, we encourage your creativity. Um, if you, you can, maybe you can challenge us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just uh, so um, yeah, I'm reading the uh, National Geographic uh, special edition on the Titanic right now. So yeah, it's always fun to read after 110 years. That's right. That's right. It, uh, it's an interesting story, and you don't, And there's a lot of stuff to read and find out that aren't in the James Cameron movie. So I mean, there's other things out there for for resources about that story. And yes, he has built the uh, Lego Titanic. <laughs> I, I was betting he had. <laughs> and I don't know what's more sad, Valerie, the fact that he has a YouTube channel where he does that or that I'm sitting there watching it. I have not figured out which is the, the, uh, the more sad aspect of this. There is a YouTube channel for everything. Um, what's sad is I like to watch the... YouTubers who react to other things. <laughs> yes, yes, I have watched some of those too, and uh, uh, <laughs> and it gets me thinking. I should, you know, I could probably do that, <laughs> but then why? <laughs> you could, you could. You just need viewers, and then you'll get advertisers, and then you'll get money deposited into your bank account. <laughs> well, that's what they say happens, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, what what would what would you like to react to if you if you decided to do that? What would you be reacting to? Oh my word! I don't know. I think I would react to people reacting to things that I know about. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. People watching is always interesting. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Uh, I okay, so I saw a video last night on TikTok where this lady had gone into a coffee shop, and I think it was in California, and she was just screaming at the uh, employee, and n none of what she was saying made any sense. <laughs> wow, wow. So I don't know, reacting to maybe that kind of stuff. <laughs> that might be a. Uh... That might be kind of interesting. Um, I don't know. We'll have to. We'll work on that. Illness involved. <laughs> well, I would. I would think so, and I would hope that the person involved got help. Uh, yes, that, I would hope so. That would be the ultimate uh, thing on that. But yeah, I don't know. I'll have to think about what, because I have no idea what people would find interesting for me to react to. I, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I think about what I could react to, and I'll start doing 
Gene reacts videos and see if there we get any go. get any <laughs> followers, you know, because we've got a few hundred followers to our YouTube channel now, but what our YouTube channel is just basically this, you know, the interviews that we do and and what Mike does on the station up in Roswell. So it's you've got to kind of have an interest in this area to want to follow what we're doing. Um, so I don't know. I'll think about that. I'll think about what I could react to, and. Uh, We'll do that. Uh, but you've got your Lego challenges next uh, next Friday, and uh, I know you've got some teen activities next week as well. Um, we do. Um, every Tuesday is going to be Activity Tuesday, and um, she's got a survival island coming up. I'm not sure exactly what that is. And then on Wednesdays, she has an art project. It's... Um, so her first one will be draw a whale. And then um, Thursday, she has games. It's either Xbox or Jackbox. I'm not familiar with Jackbox, but um, I think it's an online game platform. Okay. And then she's got a craft on Friday. She's got some interesting crafts coming up. She's going to screen print a book bag. Oh, okay. That should be fun. Yeah. And then our adult reading program will be coming up as well. And I know she has um, some interesting things planned. Um, one thing that I'm interested in, on June 7th, I believe, she's going to have Craw Daddy's Crawfish come and do a cooking demo. Oh, ah, okay. So that should be, um, that should be a good one. I would think so. Cajun Cajun food is good. And uh, maybe it's a Cajun. I'm, I'm sure it's Cajun. If it's crawdaddies, crawfish, it's got to be Cajun, I would think. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would so assume. I, I, I'm, I think they're in Roswell. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in that. And then um, she has some sea-inspired crafts coming up throughout the month or the next two months. And... Um, you can read for prizes for all age groups, um, the little kids, the teens, and the adults. So we have some pretty cool prizes as an incentive to um, come check out some books and read. Um, magic. I see magic next Friday. What is that the um, card that game? Still the, that's still the card game. Okay. Still okay. still got the card game going. So um, some of these are the uh, regular programs that you see throughout the year as well. And that'll be, uh, and are those new games every week, or is that like a continuation of the previous week's story, or or what do you what do you know? Which which game? The magic, the card game. Oh oh, I have never played, so I am not sure. <laughs> Nor have I, so I don't know if it concludes, if there's a conclusion to yeah, the game, or yeah, I think I need to I need to go play one. So yeah. I can answer your questions. <laughs> then we can then we can find out and uh, you know no each each story stands on its own and it ends and then we start a new adventure the next week. I you know I don't know I'd be curious to uh, not not that I would play <laughs> but I'm just kind of curious about it. So well, it sounds like you're so, still yeah. busy busy summer coming up. Um, it is. The next two months are going to be super busy here at the library. We've actually been, it'll be three months because we spent a whole month planning this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was pretty busy. Um, so, yeah, we're excited to execute it and um, have some fun. And I just want to remind everybody, too, that we're going to have some um, national children's performers that are going to be coming through um, during the next two months as well. We've got Rocky Mountain Puppets. Oh, Judy wow. Pancoast, she's a Grammy Award-nominated children's performer. Um, Indiana Bones, I think he's <laughs> been here before. He's quite the character. <laughs> Indiana Bones, huh? Yes, yes. Um, Science Spectrum is coming over from Lubbock, so they will have some cool oceanography-related um, demonstrations. And then in July, we're going to have Will Parker, who is another children's performer, singer, and Aspen Black, which I believe she's been here before as well, too. Okay. So lots of things lined up. Um, should be plenty to do this summer in Artesia. It should be. Now, are they on the uh, 
Are these performances on the... I'm looking at the June calendar. Yeah, there it is. The Judy uh, Pancoast is on Thursday the 23rd. Yeah. And And what is she again? She's the uh, singer. She's a singer. She's a children's performer, um, nationally known. Okay. And then you've got the Rocky Mountain Puppets uh, on the 14th and Indiana Bones. Is that a dog? Um, no. Oh, not. okay. All right. <laughs> I'm we did have a dog performance here one year, but we couldn't we couldn't get her this year. Yeah. Okay. Indiana Bones. All right. We'll have to come and see what that one's all about. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. So, well, good. Well, is there anything else we need to cover today? Um, just um, at the end of July, on the 30th, it's a Saturday, um, we're going to have a pool party to celebrate summer reading, and um, we're going to hand out the prizes. It'll be at the Artesia Aquatic Center, so something to look forward to. That's right. That's right. So, well, great. Well, Valerie, thank you so much for your time, and folks, if you uh looking for something to do this summer, you're going to find something uh, through the summer reading program at the Artesia Public Library. So check it out. Absolutely. Uh, All right. Thanks, Gene. Have a good weekend.